Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to feature the Flygo GoPro F7 mini stack and the Vampire 2 HD frame which I recently reviewed in a quick build and flight video. In case you don't want to build the Flygo Vampire 2 HD by yourself, you can also get pre-assembled 4S and 6S by and fly versions. The only difference between the pre-assembled versions and mine is that I'm using the Flywheel GoPro S722 20x20mm 20 20 mini stack, which is based on a 40 ampere BLL32 4-in-1 ESC and an F7 flight controller, well as the pre-assembled versions are using the full-sized 30x30mm F722 stack, which is based on a 50 ampere BLL32 ESC with integrated LEDs and an F7 flight controller with an integrated Bluetooth chip that will enable you to configure the flight controller wirelessly over Bluetooth using SpeedyBiz app. In addition, in this build I'm using the Fly1in 2306.5 2450 kV motors which I've previously bench tested and also featured in a build video. These motors are bundled with the 4S version and the 6S version is bundled with the 1750 kV version of these motors. Without a battery, my build weighs 358 grams and after adding the CNHL 1500 mAh 4S like a battery which I've used in order to test out this quadcopter it brings us to a total weight of almost 540 grams. After testing it out, I can tell you that I'm really impressed with the performance of this quadcopter and the combination of motors and frame works really great. In addition, the 3D printed TPU parts, which are also bundled with the frame in case you get it on its own, will provide you with plenty of protection and I think that this kind of accessory is a must, especially if you mount the DJI Air unit on a racing frame, but keep in mind that if the camera is set to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, it's going to appear in the corners of your FPV feed. In terms of durability, unfortunately, or maybe actually fortunately, I didn't crash this quadcopter, so I can't really tell you how it's going to hold, but I can still tell you that the frame itself looks pretty robust, so I don't think that it's going to break easily, and since this frame features replaceable arms, in case you break one, you can simply replace it. Finally, in terms of flight time, I got close to 5.5 minutes using this CNHL battery, which is quite impressive, considering that these fly one in motors are pretty power hungry. I'm going to wrap up this quick video with the flight footage of the Flywo Vampire 2 HD, and I'm also going to include a couple of photos from the building procedure, which might help you out in case you decide to build it on your own. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. Thank you.